We're at Ali King's Village Hall, where as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day today. Eco2 Solar installed a just under four kilowatt system here uh, just over a year ago. I'm here with Graham Baldwin from Marley King's Village Hall Committee. So Graham, it's been just over a year, how's it been? One word, brilliant. Um, right from the start really, since we met Eco2 Solar at the Malvern Show of all places. This is a village hall facility which is used by lots of people. How did you involve the community with this? That's a very good point. We did have to involve them totally because it was a lot of money. Um, we didn't anticipate spending the sort of money that we did spend. What we did is got the whole community behind us. We had everything from raffles to you know, summer fairs and things like that. And we've managed to raise over the half the money in less than six months. And I've got to say at this point that, and this is not a publicity stunt, but Eco2 Solar, of course, Paul, as you're well aware of, were really behind us. And when it came to the grand raffle, then you actually put the first prize up, which again, you didn't have to. And uh, we very much appreciated it. And I'm sure that's why we were able to raise over £2,000 alone with the raffle. So that alone was a fantastic achievement. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad we could help in that way. How did you find the installation process, Graham? Excellent. Installation-wise, they came along, looked at the installation, told us what was going to happen, when it was going to happen, the day it was going to happen, and it did. It all happened exactly as they planned. It was very quick, it was very clean. We didn't have to shut the hall. The hall was kept in use all the while. I can only say that it was absolutely first class. We've moved inside the hall now, and as you can see above my head, we've installed a special display monitor to tell us exactly how much energy we've generated since we installed the system. Uh, what do you think of the figures then, Graham? The figures are everything that you or Eco2 Solar said they would be. We can see by the sign above us now, and by the way, this was installed. We do have the meter in the cupboard here, but because we wanted to make sure that all the people of the village could see it, Eco2 Solar were good enough to install a display for us, which as you can see by the figures now, is reaching 5,400 kilowatts of energy that we produced. And as we can see by the figures, the other outstanding one is the carbon emissions figure, which now stands at over 3,000, which to the younger people of the village means, well, and to the older people too, uh, means an awful lot. The whole system, Paul, is producing brilliantly. Since April, we've now had another check for £500. So the money is just rolling in. And what it means to the hall is really something else because we haven't had to increase our rates. They're very, very competitive with uh, all the halls in the area. And the reason for that is because we're getting our energy free of charge. How, how has this affected the community, Graham, in terms of their interest in solar energy? Very much. We've had people actually install solar panels on their roof, in fact with your company, all around this area and out to five installations alone. We've had other great interest though, which is really interesting, that's from younger people, because they're more interested in the carbon footprint than they are in what we're producing. And we were able to save in that 12 months period 2,300 kilograms of carbon emissions. That's a lot. And the children especially are really, really impressed with that. It's great to see that the solar energy system here hasn't just produced great financial results, it's also brought the community together.